Get cuffed. Welcome everyone to today's video, where dangerous pursuits have unfolded. Let's explore how the police have handled these situations. Everything will be revealed. A silver car is fleeing from the local police pursuit. The vehicle is heading towards the highway where the patrol police are on duty. Upon noticing a speeding car, the patrol police initiate a chase. The runaway speed of the car is measured by radar, reaching up to 140 miles per hour. Despite the ongoing traffic with the daring maneuvers of the driver, they continuously change lanes and overtake other vehicles. When realizing they can't continue overtaking, the suspect swerves into the right lane and continues to flee at high speed. The police close in and attempt an intervention, however, the suspect's car accelerates and evades. The pit maneuver is executed at high speed and succeeds on the second attempt. The suspect's car then collides with the median and flips over on the road. Keep him up! Keep him up! Yeah. So low. Uh... The suspect is pulled out of the car, luckily without serious injuries. The police have successfully apprehended the suspect, although the car is no longer intact. They kicked me! I'm not doing this! He kicked me! I'm not doing this! A violator's car, after causing an accident, immediately attempts to flee. Upon discovering the car heading towards the National Highway, a patrolling officer promptly intervenes. Quickly, the intervention is carried out to stop the vehicle. his hands up. We've got a passenger over here as well. Hey, have you keyed up yet? You know not reach down, you understand? Get out. Get out. All three suspects are pulled out of the car. They claim they have done nothing wrong and are just heading home after participating in a protest. A middle-aged woman among them screams, and during the police search, a bag of marijuana is found on her person. And I want your number! I want y'all number! No! Uh, I'm not! Because I, I told him I had some weed and he still kicked me! Yeah. Don't care what you say! I told him! I told him! They rammed us in the First, we got, I got two well, he was sitting at the car, and I told him to leave before yeah, they came, and then he tried to run, and they rammed the car. And I'm going to the hospital, and I'm suing little rock. I'm suing this bay trooper. I'm suing him. He told me I didn't tell him I told you I had weed on me, so you don't need to lie. I don't care. He kicked me and everything. I don't care what he say. I'm getting a lawsuit against this bay trooper. And I know y'all recording everything, so yes. I'm getting a mother yes, sir. Subsequently, all three are transferred to the local detention center for further investigation. 
The pursuit and intervention were executed swiftly. This time, the police successfully carried out their mission. A dangerous pursuit unfolded between the Ingham County Police and a silver KIA stolen between Ingham and Livingston Counties. The road segment became the battleground for this chase, with the driver pursued for various serious offenses such as UDIA, knife assault, B&E, and potential DWI violations. The pursuit continues as the car fails to comply and attempts to escape the control area. The vehicle continuously changes lanes and becomes unstable on the road, posing a significant danger to moving vehicles. Another police unit joins the pursuit. The chase continues until the car is forced onto the shoulder and comes to a halt. Aware. The driver abandons the car and flees into the woods, but the police quickly catch up, leading to his immediate arrest. Stand up here where it's level. Sure, don't, don't reach, I'll get it. I got you. I am not feeling the knife. Let's go. A pursuit was initiated by the police after discovering through a license plate check via ACIC that this Chevrolet had been identified as stolen previously. The color and license plate matched the previous reports. The police decided to sound the siren and activate the emergency lights to conduct a traffic stop with this vehicle. However, when the driver noticed the police pursuit, they immediately fled. <laughs> The vehicle fled through small roads, where there was minimal traffic. After a period of evading around houses, the suspect drove onto a major road and continued to flee at high speed. The pursuit continued with Unit A in charge, and the suspect's vehicle moved recklessly, often approaching collisions. The driver also switched lanes improperly, repeatedly overtaking in no-passing zones. Clear, clear. 
When approaching from behind, the police performed an intervention at the passenger seat, causing the suspect to swerve off the road and collide with a utility pole. At the end of the pursuit, the police successfully apprehended the suspect and conducted a search, discovering a bag of drugs in the car. A runaway truck collided with a parked car by the side of the road. The incident left onlookers shocked, and fortunately, there were no serious injuries in this traffic mishap. Yeah, we've got uh, a light truck um, at this almost in the uh, westbound uh, lane. Um, you OK, mate? The police discovered an orange car that had run a red light at an intersection. As soon as the driver noticed the police car behind, they immediately fled. The siren was activated and the police pursued the vehicle onto a small road near a church. The driver eventually came to a stop, but despite repeated commands, they refused to exit the car promptly. Get out of the vehicle! Get out of the vehicle! Get out of the vehicle! Get out of here. Uh, we can't. Let me see your hand. I'm not playing with you. If you reach us up, you will be shot. I'm not playing with you. Get out of the vehicle. Get out of the vehicle now. Walk back towards you. Do not. Hey, stop reaching. I don't care. Stop reaching. It took a considerable amount of time for the driver to finally step out. The police swiftly restrained the woman. In your opinion, what should the police do in this situation? Come on, man. Seriously? Why are you being so aggressive? Aggressive? You just ran two stop signs. Get up. Get up. Get up. Even when apprehended, she showed no concern about potential charges, only worrying about losing a flip-flop. It is astonishing that she provided the excuse of taking her sister to the hospital while her sister was not even present in the car. A traffic violator was being pursued by the Milwaukee police. The sirens and emergency lights were activated as soon as the pursuit began. The reckless vehicle aggressively maneuvered past other traffic, even running a red light in a daring attempt to escape. The patrolling police continuously reported the pursuit situation to the police headquarters, seeking support from their colleagues. Despite relentless efforts to stay close and find an opportunity to intervene, the fleeing vehicle maintained a high speed. The police officers were concerned that an accident might occur, given the ongoing movement of other vehicles. As predicted, the pursued vehicle sped through an intersection at a high velocity, running a red light and collided forcefully with another moving vehicle. The impact caused the suspect's vehicle to flip over on the road. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Face down on the ground now! Put your hands out! Put your hands out! Do not say nothing to me. Get down flat on the ground. 
A vehicle was confirmed to have an expired registration but was still in motion on the road. After verifying the details on the system, the police initiated surveillance. However, upon realizing the police presence, the vehicle turned onto a narrow street and attempted to flee. There have been numerous instances of pursuits between the police and offenders. However, more often than not, individuals choose to evade arrest rather than pull over and face the consequences. The act of fleeing is perhaps driven by the belief that they can escape law enforcement. It is only when they see the police officers with firearms that they eventually surrender. His stolen Isuzu truck was reported heading south near Futon Street. The police activated emergency devices and attempted to halt the vehicle, but the driver quickly fled. Law enforcement issued a stop order, but the daring driver evaded through various lanes, narrowly avoiding collisions with other vehicles. Numerous cars were on the road, posing a significant challenge to intervene and stop the truck. As the stolen vehicle decelerated and noticed reduced traffic, the police executed a pit maneuver from behind, causing the driver to lose control. The truck spun and crashed into a nearby barrier before overturning. Officers tried to break the windshield to extricate the suspect. The driver was apprehended without further incident immediately after. He's good. Oh, okay, he's good. Appreciate it. A gray Volkswagen passenger van involved in a theft at a Texas convenience store is now being pursued by law enforcement. The vehicle ran a red light heading south on Richmond Avenue, constantly changing directions. Despite the police activating emergency lights and sirens, the van continued its attempt to flee. The patrol reported the pursuit situation to the police center. The chase remained intensely dramatic as the van recklessly maneuvered through traffic, nearly causing collisions with other vehicles. The suspect's vehicle suddenly turned onto a narrow street below. At that moment, another police unit arrived promptly to respond. speed pursuit continued and it seemed like an opportune moment to perform an immediate pit maneuver. The suspect's vehicle veered into a ditch and overturned shortly after. Show me your hand! Show me your hand! Show me your hand! Hey, stay at your door! No, stay at your door! Open the door! Come out! Step out the vehicle! Get out the vehicle! 
law enforcement instructed the driver to exit the vehicle from the passenger side. The apprehended suspect sustained minor injuries. A stolen vehicle identified while traveling on the highway sparked immediate action from patrolling officers. As the patrol lights and sirens activated, the suspect's vehicle swiftly evaded onto a deserted road. The police promptly closed in from behind, closely monitoring the fleeing vehicle through every turn. Another patrol unit joined the pursuit, taking over as the primary chasing unit. Intervention from behind was executed as the suspect was speeding. Due to the high velocity, the driver lost control, colliding with the median between two lanes. The suspect was apprehended on the spot. Upon inspection, no illicit substances were found. After seeking legal assistance, the individual faced numerous charges, theft, reckless driving, and driving without a license. Subsequently, they were transferred to the local detention center. Man, it was a care about my life that's almost ended. Well, they come up when they got me twice for criminal trespass. A high-speed motorcycle is zooming down the road, clocking 109 miles per hour, exceeding the allowed speed. The police using radar confirm the current speed. The patrol lights and siren activate as the motorbike accelerates to 120 miles per hour. the rider alternate speed, daringly overtaking a truck without signaling. As the rider slows down, the police notice the unconventional method, steering with the right hand, left hand off the handle, tucked into the chest pocket. Upon closing in, the police swiftly approach, resulting in a gentle collision with the motorcycle. Subsequently, an ambulance is called. Unfortunately, the suspect faces serious charges, evading arrest, reckless driving, drug-related offenses, and refusal to undergo a chemical test. Oh, it hurts up here and your shoulder. Yeah. Oh, oh, your shoulder's dislocated. Oh, no. <laughs> no right it's okay. Here? Can you feel my hand yeah. down here? Okay, so yeah, we're, we're good. You're just dislocated. <laughs> I had a really good teacher, trust me. He's no longer here, but I had a really good teacher. Our video concludes here. Thank you for always tuning in and accompanying our channel. Don't forget to subscribe today to continue following many interesting videos about the police. Goodbye, and see you again.